And as you might expect, several NFL teams making big changes this first day after the end of the regular season. Mm -hmm. The Jets, the Falcons, the Bears, they all fired their head coaches after failing to make the playoffs. New York and Chicago also fired their general manager. So nothing quite as drastic out at Redskins Park today. Yeah, despite what folks are howling for mm -hmm. right now, we really don't see any big signs of any changes there. The players were there out there with, uh, in Ashburn today, though, cleaning out their lockers. Yep. Uh, Coach Jay Gruden just wrapped up his last press conference of the season. Sports director Tim Brandt uh, checking all that out for us. And uh, what did you see? What did you hear? It was disappointing. I guarantee you that. And Jay Gruden just finished, as you said, and he was very disappointed in the 4-12 uh, and 12 season. He talked about the first year being a bigger learning curve than he had ever anticipated and said clearing the air is part of the process. He also said that he met with the players this morning to lay out the offseason schedule and turn the page. I do have a lot of respect for everybody, uh, the way they worked and prepared, but uh, we do have to get better. We do have to make some changes. I promise you this. This will not be the same football team, football staff, uh, right now that we're going to have the start of next year. So we're going to have a lot of changes that are done and made and hopefully for the better. Now, as the players cleaned out their lockers today, Gruden said he'll meet with club president and general manager Bruce Allen tomorrow, then owner Dan Snyder on Sunday. I guarantee you there will be some important decisions made in those meetings. This afternoon, Gruden refused to guarantee that RG3 was his quarterback going forward. Also said he'd recommend keeping defensive coordinator Jim Haslett. Folks, this has certainly been an emotionally draining season for the coaches and the players. It's just good to wait, get away from the game right now. We just got to understand what we're trying to do here. You know, are we trying to be football players or are we just trying to make money? And I think, you know, the problem is right now, I think we just got, we have the talent. We just got to find, you know, who to follow and where to go with this thing. We got to do something differently. I mean, I don't know if that's our off-season approach, how we approach working out this off-season or, you know, you know how, we, uh, how we prepare for games, you know, during game week uh, next season. But we got to do something differently. Always a painful day at Redskins Park, especially for Jay Gruden today. He's a competitive guy. He thought he could turn this team around this year. So he matter-of-factly turned the page on this season, looked forward to clearing the air, and promised changes on the roster and on his staff. But wait a second. He's a competitive guy. We know that for sure. Mm -hmm. His defense was not competitive at any point except for maybe one game this season, the Cowboys game. And he's saying he would not change anything there. He wouldn't change. He wouldn't change. Not ready to make Haslett? any decisions. He said they're going to be, pro he promised changes on his roster and right. on his staff. Okay. It's time for a break. Glad yeah. it's over. I'm going to send while. Leon out there next <laughs> time. <laughs> Coach Leon. <laughs> Coach Leon. Yeah. Brothers need some prayer. All right. <laughs> Our question of the day now. Let's turn to that. Uh, what moves do you think the Redskins should be making Where in the offseason? I don't know. That's a good point. Where do we start? Share your thoughts with us on the WJLA Facebook page. And uh, we'll be sharing some of your thoughts, the clean ones, a little later in the hour. <laughs> oh.